The 10 Craziest Astronomical Anomalies Number 10. Neutron Stars When massive stars go supernova, they often collapse in on themselves and form a neutron star. These stars are super dense. Even though they're only a few miles across, they have the same mass as the sun. Particles are ejected from the northern and southern poles of the star at nearly the speed of light. But one neutron star has astronomers scratching their heads. 10,000 light years from Earth is RCW 103. The spin of this neutron star suggests that it's several million years old. But it can't possibly be that old because this star went supernova 2,000 years ago. Astronomists still aren't sure how to explain this. Number 9. Aligned Polar Nebulae A nebula is formed when a star emits ultraviolet radiation that ionizes a gas cloud. The result is visible light of many different colors. Just like in neutron stars, the ultraviolet light is ejected out of the north and south poles of the star. Deep in our own galaxy, there are several nebulae that are quite strange. When Hubble examined 130 of these objects, it found something pretty bizarre. All 130 nebulae in this region have the exact same axis, meaning every single star is spinning the exact same way. Astronomers' best guess at how this could happen is that somehow they got caught up in each other's magnetic field. Number 8. The Great White Thunderstorm Every 30 years, a white storm cloud forms in the northern hemisphere of Saturn. The storm is white because there's so much ammonia in the atmosphere. It begins as a small white dot, about half the diameter of Earth. But within only a few days, the storm cloud stretches across the entire length of the planet. Incredibly, one bolt of lightning in this white storm can stretch for 10,000 miles. There's a difference of about 140 degrees Fahrenheit between the inside and the outside of the storm. 140 degrees Fahrenheit is the difference between the hottest and the coldest places on Earth. Number 7. Planetary Alignment The possibility of alignment between planets in the solar system is very rare. Scientists estimate that the next time there's going to be an alignment will be in 2040, where you'll be able to see Mars, Mercury, Venus, Jupiter, Saturn, and the Moon all align at the same time. In the year 2021, there will be a triangular alignment between Jupiter, Venus, and Mars. Just before Halloween, from October 24th to the 29th, the three planets will group together within a circle of diameter of 5 degrees. Number 6. The Suicide Comet Comets are extremely difficult to spot in the sky. They're made from blocks of ice and rock, so they don't emit any of their own light. They also take really bizarre paths through the solar system. But in 2013, astronomers happened to turn their telescopes in the perfect direction at the perfect time to see a comet break apart in front of them. The comet spontaneously broke itself into about 10 different chunks. Each of those chunks weigh about 200,000 tons. Astronomers are still trying to figure out what caused this comet to break apart. But astronomers are certain that it wasn't a collision, because the different pieces of the comet are drifting away from each other at about one kilometer per hour, which in space is nothing. Number 5. The Messier 82 Supernova Located in Ursa Major, this galaxy is about 11 million light years away. Supernovas are exceedingly rare to see. Only about 20% of supernovas are actually visible. Some supernovas are so big that the explosion actually outshines the entire galaxy. The amount of energy released in a supernova is about the same as the amount of energy that's been released by the sun in its entire life, plus all the energy that it hasn't emitted yet. The force of the explosion is so great that the material that is expelled comes out at about 100,000 miles per second. Number 4. The Triple Jovian Eclipse Solar and lunar eclipses are spectacular sights, but that's nothing compared to what Jupiter gets. In 2015, Jupiter's three moons, Io, Europa, and Callisto, all lined up perfectly in front of the Sun. Photos taken by Hubble at the time show all three moons as well as the shadows of each moon on the surface. 
The next time that this will happen will be in the year 2032. Number three, the Great Eruption. In 1838, the star Eta Carnae suddenly became the second brightest star in the sky, and it remained that way for 10 years before it slowly died away. The huge amount of light over those 10 years was caused by the star losing about 14% of its total mass, which is the equivalent of 10 Earth suns. Astronomers think that the star exploded either because of a collision with another star or a thermonuclear explosion erupting from the star's core. Number 2, Magnetars. Magnetars are a special kind of neutron star. These stars are surrounded by a magnetic field that is quadrillions of times stronger than the magnetic field of Earth. They're the strongest magnets in the known universe. A magnetar will spin about 43,000 times every minute, but every once in a while that spin is interrupted by what are called glitches and anti-glitches. During a glitch, the spinning of these magnetars can suddenly change within the period of only a few minutes. If the Earth ever experienced a glitch or an anti-glitch, it would likely mean the extinction of the human race. Number 1. The Solar Tornado The Solar Dynamics Observatory has been capturing activity on the Sun for the past 30 years. In all of that time, it's never seen anything like what it witnessed on February 7, 2012. Solar tornadoes are created by extreme magnetism between the sun's surface and its pole. At one end of the magnetic field, there's a blast of superheated gas. The gas gets caught up in the magnetic field and is spun around, creating a massive solar tornado. The inside of a solar tornado is about 5 million degrees Fahrenheit, and it spins at about 186,000 miles per hour. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, please hit the like button, and if you really liked it, make sure you subscribe.